this hit hard. <laughs> this episode. Oh, God. Oh, I leave the rest to you, UG. It was good. So let's draw his final moment. I'm on the landscape page. Pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. He is sort of nearly in profile. You can just see the sort of burnt side of his face a little bit. So I'm going to start with the nose, right? So center point of my page is about here. This is about the halfway line, right? So center point will come over to the right a little bit. I'm going to do with his nose, which is kind of like a letter L or an upside down number seven. So here. Curving that way. And then it comes around the tip of his nose, which is quite pointy and goes in there. So you've got this kind of L shape. You've got a bit of wiggle room with how pointy you make it. Mine actually isn't as pointy as in the show. So you can make it more or less pointy than that. So his nostril will just be there. Right, and then at the top, if this sort of shape here, see this is like very small and then gets long. And then we have another small shape going that way. So it turns it into like a Z-like shape. Right, so it goes up for his brow. It kind of curves around that way. So we've got this kind of S sort of shape or Z. Okay, so that's his nose basically. So across from this section, his eye, right? And it's typical anime. So it goes diagonal there first. And this distance from the nose to the eye is about the same size as his eye, right? So his eye from here to here, say, his eye would probably be here. So we'll do the top eyelid and I'll show you what I mean. So diagonal back there. Kind of flat across very skinny eyes, right? So this is about the same as this. It's only like just here to here to the corner of his eye is about the same as there to there, roughly, okay? Maybe a little bit smaller, but roughly that is the distance proportion you're talking about, right? And you can like thicken up these little spikes on the top eyelid and stuff a little bit. So there tends to be a darker line than the rest. So, his bottom eyelid line is just a standard curving line around like that, right? And then his iris, half circle, curving down from the top. And then his pupil, a black, very small dot just in the middle there. Right, and then we've got like some, what looks like eyelashes just sticking off here and some extra sort of wrinkles and things drawn in. Cause he's like in bits. So he's, he's had a hard go of it. A great character. I miss him. He's got all these wrinkles and stuff on his face. So then we've got like some eyelid lines, right? So we've got like a skinny one. Mappa tend to do more than one there. And then diagonal that way. And then it comes across. This is kind of like the same shape as his eyelashes. There, and they actually have a little shadow in it here. Right, so. Like so, right, and there's like again some like scratches and dirt and stuff, and like you can kind of see his like eye socket coming around here. He's not in good shape. Right, so his eyebrow then above, just like a curved line going that way, and then it's kind of square end. And you want to add just a section that you can kind of color in and just make sure it's kind of spiky on that end and they add some texture lines to that there and 
Okay, so for his other eye, we can't see anything else. We can just see like like his brow sort of bumping that way. And then his literal eye socket. Like literally a black hole in there. So I'll color that dark. Right, and then around that, there's just like lots of burn marks and where his eyebrow used to be, you know, there's like some textures and stuff and lots of wrinkles and all this kind of thing. <clears throat> okay. So down here, right, so we have his cheek that runs down this side. So we just have his nose coming down and then his mouth, he's just got this very flat sort of smile, right? So just down from the nose, curving this way, right? Very small and it, they do it like this broken sort of line like that. And this one might dip down a little bit. So you're just like under finishing underneath his eye there, roughly. And then we have like a bottom lip, a flat sort of bottom lip area there. Like some more sort of scratches and blood and stuff on his face. His chin real square here. Like so. And then his jaw would stay going up here. Right past his eyebrow. And now he's got like a very strong chin. So they draw in like a chin line here. And here. So the side of his face that bumps up here just goes up around his nose, right? So it goes very close to his mouth at first and then curves out around the cheek, up into the eye socket there. And then it kind of like bumps around his eye and then out for his, where his eyebrow would be, just the bone of his eyebrow. And then this goes up like a skull shape around to there and again like scratches and stuff and then like we meet hair up there so the line for this burn right so we'll just do this kind of dotted sort of sort of line comes around his lip and then down there right so it's all like burn victim stuff I think it just disappears under his hair there somewhere. And he's got like burnt short hairs coming off his head. Right, so his jaw continues up to his ear. So his earlobe, just there, kind of aligned with his mouth. And then the ear comes around down like so becomes his sideburn then sort of here like a little square sideburn like sideburns kind of in line with his nose straight across and then we have ear lines inside so the easiest way is a letter J sort of going like this this sort of J shape I always think of it as a J it's like a weird T and then you can add more Weird T. <laughs> and then that way, more lines inside, some texture lines on the sideburn. And he's got a cheekbone that they add a line for there. And then again, like lots of this scratches. And... things like this of this nature and so his hair so we go up here and we'll just start doing the fringe and it's just uh, short spikes at first and then it starts to get a bit longer Right, this kind of a thing, it's kind of just flat against his head. The 
they really animated him great in this series. They did him justice, I think. That's his cheekbone. Do we have one that comes down close to the cheek? Yeah, I think so. And then it kind of comes out just from behind his ear, right? So if one here, there's like the long portion of his hair and some goes down behind his neck as well. Just keeps all going. So there's some that go over his ear as well, but I'll come back to that. We've got like another bump this way. It kind of bumps around now the top of his head. Just kind of adding textures here. Some go over his ear. Mm -hmm. Right. So, then the back of his neck, this way, and there's like a hairline just here at the back. And then his neck, quite muscular. There, bumping sort of a couple of times for his trapezius muscles. that way and then the front comes out from his chin and you see just like his Adam's apple sticking out here and then a neck muscle going this way another one here and there's a bit of that burn on the side of his neck like that and there it is Nanami we salute you we will miss you. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.